Hello, Mr. Raddy Duck, and welcome back for another video. Today, I have three replays to show you in the brand new Tier 8 Japanese Premium Tank Destroyer. It is the first Japanese tank destroyer in the game in what console? And, oh, it's a fantastic tank. I have had a lot of fun playing this tank. And what I'm going to do before I get into the replays to show this tank off, I'm just going to quickly go over a few of the statistics of tanks and just explain what is this tank about. So it's a turretless tank destroyer, which is very stealthy. I've got the concealment down with my setup, down to about 260 concealment. You've got fairly good mobility, sort of, you know, sort of average to good. Um, you've got your mobility top speed of 40 kilometers an hour, but it does get to that top speed very quickly. You've then got the armor is, it sort of can be okay. Like the whole armor is very, very bad, but the actual sort of turret part of the armor, you, you know, when you're fighting tier eight tanks, you can bounce you know, a few shots if you're using sort of a, your gun depression to try and sort of increase the angle of the tank. You have seven degrees of gun depression, and then the highlight of this tank is the gun. You have a 500 and alpha gun with 252 penetration on your standard AP rounds, um, with I think the shell velocity about 980, and then you have 298 penetration on your premium APCR rounds with 1,150 shell velocity. And this gun really does make the tank, and honestly, I've had such a good time playing this so what i'm going to do i'm just going to get onto the three replays i've got to show you today the first one being bottom tier the second one being a more sort of average um game i've had and then the final replay being sort of the bigger the big game um i've had so far so yeah that's enough of me rambling on i'll show you my setup at the start of the first replay let's just get on with it Okay, so here we are for replay number one, and we are on Live Oaks, which is the map they have finally brought back into the game. It's a fantastic map. It's one I've been really looking forward to coming back. Unfortunately, I've only managed to play it once so far, um, but yeah, it's. I'm so glad this map's back in there. You know, if you haven't played it, it's, it's a it's a great map, um, and yeah, it's really really good. So initially at the start, being in a tank destroyer. Uh, and we are bottom tier in this replay. I'm going to try and get to this position to try and spot, well, get shots in the cross of any tanks sort of crossing like they are, like this enemy heavy tank. And so far, you can see we've managed to pick up just shy of 500 damage. And this gun, you've got like a 10 second reload for 500 alpha. The DPM's really nice for a tier 8 tank destroyer. And yeah, good penetration. It, I've just had so much fun uh, playing this tank. So initially, we're just trying to get damage into the heavy tanks, which are trying to make their way into the town. We picked up a thousand damage so far, so we've had a fairly decent start. Heavy tank is crossing again. We're looking to try and get another shot in. Unfortunately, it just derps a little bit before you can get that shell in. One thing I also like about this tank is the actual aim time is so good on this tank. Like when you stop to aim your shot, it just sort of aims in really, really quickly. Uh, which allows you to get them shots off um, quicker. So it's really, really good. And the reverse speed of the tank actually feels quite good as well. So you can try and get back out of, um, you know, when you poke that ridge, you can get back out into cover. So you can see the concealment from this range. I'm not going to get detected uh, unless an enemy light tank makes an aggressive play, uh, maybe around the low ground of the swamp. But so far, I managed to get three penetrations in. And there's no way of, you know, being in a tank destroyer like this, I don't really need to play aggressively in this scenario when the shots keep presenting themselves like that. We managed to land our fourth shell of the game, picking up about 2,000 damage and a little bit of track assistance. But this light tank gets spotted behind. Now the light tank is going to be a nuisance because if it gets close, it's going to be a real problem. We try and get a shot in because we want to punish that tank. We don't pen it, but we do track it in place and we do manage to get another sort of 600 assistance there. Putting us on to 1,200 track assistance and 2,000 damage. Now I'm trying to gauge if we're actually winning the town or not. It's kind of hard to really say. Um, also, we've got the other side down of the map, which is actually a good place to play when there's no artillery, even in a hold down tank, because you've got some uh, really good areas you can go hold down over that side. 
Um, but I decided, Joey, this is the first time I played Live Oaks for a long time, so just trying to get used to actually playing um, that map again. So Dragon gets spotted. Unfortunately, I wasn't quite aimed in, ready to get shots at this tank. Um, and I'm just trying to see if I can move around. I don't want to get caught out and spotted in the open because obviously, like you can see the fate of uh, the enemy team was which were getting detected there. That would be the same for me. Light tank does get spotted in the uh, swamp, but he is behind a rock now. And now this light tank's in the back of my mind that if he comes around and spots me, it's just not going to go well for us. And it looks like we're losing the town. So in my mind, I'm thinking, can I get back to a position where I can try and get a shot into this light tank? Because I really want to you know, remove this light tank from the game. It's the only light tank left, and that will give... You know, it definitely will increase our chances of winning this game if we can remove that light tank because it's going to not detect our TDs. So I'm trying to fall back to look for a shot. Um, but like I say, I've got also spot the light tank and I don't know, you know, he could have even ran right now. Um, but I'm thinking I'll put myself in a position that when the tanks come out of the, um, the town area to try and get shots into us, I can try and get back to get shots in. Uh, but I'm just seeing if we can find this light tank. But I think the light tank must have moved because I'm not getting detected right now. If he was but still behind that rock, then I would in theory be getting spotted myself and, and that's not happening. But unfortunately our tank destroyers have got taken out in the front. That's quite glad I did fall back because that would have been the same fate for me. And I'm going to try and put myself in a position to help defend the base as these heavy tanks make their advance one of them is a mouse i think the other one's the other tier 10 german heavy tank so it's quite a slow heavy tank we should give us opportunities to get shots into them so we're looking to cover our friendly medium tank trying to get a shot there into the mouse but then this one shot uh k is probably the same tank as me get spotted uh k re and i managed to pick up the kill on that tank confirming it putting this back into a nine versus nine so it is still a very close game a lot of our team, the majority of our team, are now pushing towards the enemy base. I need to try and get rid of these tanks. So I'm looking for a shot into the lower plate of the mouse, which we pick up, putting us onto 3,000 damage and one kill. But this is the light tank now, which is going to be the real nuisance to us because obviously he's going to be able to get close to us. He's then going to spot us, and that is the real problem. I'm looking to try and get a slim shot in, but he gets in cover before I'm able to do so. The friendly tank which was with me has now been taken out and I'm thinking I probably need to start thinking about falling back. I'm trying to kill this one shot mouse but he's angling well and he's behind a wreck so I just don't have a shot at the lower plate. The other enemy heavy tank is making his advance and now I've just got to try and fall back. But as I'm trying to escape the light tank gets spotted and I don't want to get clipped uh, out as I try and leave. Uh, we do manage to bounce the shell there. The light tank shot at least one shot. If I stay here, I'm definitely going to die. Um, I can't help fight the base from that angle. So I need to try and get back. And Because I'm assuming the heavy tanks are going to keep pushing me. Uh, and I want to try. I'm just praying I can get over this ridge to the left before the light tank sort of pokes up and spots us. Because if he spots us, yeah, we're in all sorts of trouble. He's just going to put his clip into the rear of the tank. Not much I'm going to do. I'm going to get detected in the open and then the heavy tank's probably going to take me out. Uh, so I just need to try and get into this little dip which we've got around here which is going to give me a, a somewhat bit more of a protection. So we do manage to, you know, surprisingly the light tank's not spotting us. I'm wondering if he's gone back to try and get a reset um, at the base because we are capping out now so the enemy team does need to get a reset. Um, I'm going to swing round to try and take out this one shot tank destroyer. As I do, the light tank appears just at the wrong moment. Going to hopefully squeeze in the shot. We do take out a tank to try picking up our second shot. We get penned by the heavy tank. And now we're just trying to fall back. Because the enemy team have got a decision. They're going to try and kill me. But they've also got to get a reset on the base. I mean, the light tank is probably going to have to go for that reset. Because I don't think any of the other tanks are going to make it there in time. I think we may... Uh, the enemy team do get a reset. Or one of our tank gets out of the cap. Still a very close game. But I'm feeling like we're probably just going to cap out at this point. I'm also expecting any moment that heavy tanks will appear and, and I don't want you know, a potential one shot to that tank so I don't want to get taken out. Um, just seeing if anyone will actually come and help me and spot these tanks on the ridge you know, just to turn their attention if they do and I can get a shot in. Um, 
I'm surprised the light tank's not full sent over t towards me yet. I mean, that's what I was kind of waiting for. Um, but it looks like we're just going to cap out at any moment, and this game will be over for the first replay. But then they either, yeah, they do get a reset, which um, buys us a little bit of time. It was the light tank. We've got the reset, trying to get the win there. The enemy heavy tank gets spotted, but he's not looking at us. So we're going to try and get a shot into them, pick up another penetration damage if we can, while they're not paying uh, attention to us. Should be able to squeeze one into the rear of the turret. We do. Picking up another penetration, putting the heavy tank on the one shot. He swings to try and get a shot into me, but he's going to turn his armour now towards the rest of our friendly team. They should be able to, to pick up the kill. If not, I'm going to try and move back round into the lower ground to see if we can get a shot. He does get taken out by our friendly Jag Tiger. And it is now it brings it into a four versus two. We're out of the cap. Quickly brings it to a four versus one. It's a one shot mouse. I'm pretty confident at this point we're going to get the win. I mean, the mouse is just in the swamp uh, and it's kind of really on his last, last legs. And we're just hoping we can get there to try and put in a, a shot and pick up a third kill in this game. But we don't quite make that and it does bring us into the first of the replays. So being in a bottom tier game, we picked up two kills, 3,500 damage and 1,700 assistance. Having a quite nice game there. And that is it for the first replay. But let's move on now to the second replay of the game. Okay, so here we are for the second replay on Lakeville. This time we are top tier. There's one friendly light tank, one friendly um, artillery, one enemy light tank and one enemy artillery. And we're initially thinking about setting up to try and get some shots if anything gets spotted crossing. But quite early doors, I kind of realised we've got no one spotting a cross and anything which crosses right now is not going to get detected um, because our friendly light tank's not spotting it. So I've decided, you know what, it is top tier. I'm going to try and spot it myself because I, if the tank's cross, I want them to be detected so we can get some shots in. I do spot two tanks crossing, one being the enemy huntsman on my left. I'm going to try and get a shot into this huntsman. I pick up 1,300 assistance straight away for spotting that cross, so it was well worth it in the end. Uh, I missed my shot on the Huntsman, surprisingly, but I should have another opportunity. And you can see how fantastic this uh, camo is, not getting detected. Pick up another penetration of shot, pick up some more assistance, starting this game quite nice with 2,000 assistance and 520 damage. Um, I'm trying to edge forward to spot him. It looks like our tanks are going to move through the town. If they move through the town quick enough, they will detect enemy tanks um, where I should potentially have shots into them. So that's what I'm kind of waiting for. I'm being a little bit patient. Uh, another, an iron rain gets detected crossing. We actually, I think we do get the spot on that tank and we pick up a bit more assistance and another penetration of damage. Looking for the kill shot, but it gets shut down by our craft plant for foot before we're able to do that. I now have a huntsman, which is kind of moved up with me. I'm a little bit concerned. I don't want that because the huntsman doesn't have the concealment, but which we have. So I don't want the huntsman to get spotted with me in front of him, and then I end up taking all the damage. So I'm trying to stay like out of his line of fire cause to try and prevent that from happening. Uh, and. I can think the majority of the team, enemy team, have pushed the 1-2 line there. And there's only sort of a, a few tanks this side. So I want our light tank to push forward and spot them, ideally, um, so I can get some more damage. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So I'm going to just take the gamble and push forward, see if we can pick up some more assistance ourselves. We do spot a full health huntsman and this uh, enemy tank destroyer, which is on a one-shot. We're trying to use this ridge to keep ourselves protected. Get a nice shot into the Huntsman's turret there. Putting him onto a one shot, picking up some more assistance. And I'm just trying to keep myself shielded from the tank on the left. Uh, but the enemy artillery, which is clearly close, has got shots in. I need to spot this artillery because otherwise it's just going to keep shooting us. So we do poke up to spot the enemy artillery. Putting another shot into it and picking up a bit more assistance. This artillery should not make it out of this game. And we are going to make sure of that. And we do pick up the kill, confirming our first kill. 
We shot for it, but yeah, it was kind of worth it because I didn't want the artillery to keep shooting us. And this game is practically over at this point now. It's 11 versus four. We managed to pick up, for, you know, just shy of 3,000 assistance, just shy of 3,000 damage. Unfortunately, my engine has been destroyed, which is going to slow me down getting to the rest of the damage. We do squeeze in a shot there, though, picking up another kill, putting us under two kills. And it's just about can we get any more shots in this game? Can we pick up any more damage? Like I say, this is probably one you know, a more average game. I mean, it's still a decent game. Uh, but this tank, honestly, I've had so much fun playing this tank. It's, it's been really, really enjoyable. I'm quite looking forward to the you know the Japanese tank tour line, which will follow. Um, yeah, if it's anything like this tank, I think I'm going to quite enjoy it. Because I'm not normally a tank destroyer person, but I have... Yeah, I just find I've had a lot of fun with this. But let's move on then to the final replay. We'll just see how we got on. Uh, and then we get on to the, 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 my you know, bigger replay. So we get two kills, about 3,000 damage, 3,000 assistance, 6,000 combined. And that is it for replay number two. Let's move on to the final replay of the game. Okay, so here we are for the final replay on Hidden Village. There is one enemy artillery and two enemy light tanks. So Hidden Village, I'm not a massive fan of this map, uh, to be honest with you. Um, but we are top tier, so we can hopefully... I'm actually just going to try... You know, this tank has fantastic concealment, but in this particular video, you know, being on it, it's, it's Hidden Village, I'm going to get into more of a brawl. And I'm actually going to show you how the armour actually can work on this tank if you're uh, able to not expose your whole armor you can bounce a few shots when you are in a matchmaking like this but once you start going against like the head you know the higher tiers and your armor's not going to stand up for much but if you get the matchmaker like this you actually can have a bit of armor but the tank has other advantages so you don't have to just rely on that because you have good concealment as well so you can play like a traditional tank destroyer but just because it's hidden village and it's this a lineup I want to try and get to this position here I am playing fairly aggressively uh, my biggest concern is probably the enemy artillery I don't want to get shot by that but it's not a lot you can do if the artillery does want to focus you we get a nice first penetration of shot we pick up a uh, fire there for 710 damage we do bounce some shots off of that huntsman and we take care of the first tank out of the game bring us a really nice start so now we're in a position where we can try and get shots of these tanks in front of us where we're trying to only expose actually like the, you know, the turret if you like i know it doesn't have a, a turnable turret but a sort of turret armor rather than exposing the whole armor so we're just trying to use our seven degrees of gun depression we've got a nice shot in there we bounced the second shot it feels like to me this tank because of just like the way the tank is shaped Although you only have seven degrees, it almost feels like it's a little bit more sometimes when you're playing the little ridge like this. We get a nice shot there into the enemy tank to try putting them onto a one shot. We've got to be careful we don't push too far forward because that TD will shoot us in the track wheel if we do. Uh, we're just trying to be careful about. I kind of want that tank to show you, which is on the one shot to get taken out. And that is a priority for me at the moment. And he does get taken out by a friendly tank destroyer, which is very helpful. Uh, we're looking to try and get a shot into the cupola of that IS-2. Uh, not quite possible. I'm not fully aiming my shots, mainly because I don't want to get... Um, I'm trying to not lose any damage uh, right now. We get a nice shot into the uh, track wheel of the ISM. It damages his engine. Um, which is good, but now the enemy artillery, the enemy fun police, is starting to look for shots into us, which is not good. I'm somewhat, I, I wouldn't say safe, but harder for them to shoot me when I pull back like that because they have to shoot on the ridge. But now I've got tanks on my left, like this enemy tank destroyer, and this is starting to look a little bit awkward, should we say. We've got tanks on the left, tanks on the right, and we've got artillery looking to get shots into us. So we've got, it's going to be, yeah, it is a little bit awkward for us to fight now, but we are in a battle, so we're just going to try and get on with it. We're going to see where we can get shots in. I'm constantly keeping an eye on that TD. If I ever get a chance to shoot the TD on the left, I want to take it because that's in a, a nuisance position and he's got a really nasty gun. So we do get a nice shot in, putting us onto about 2,700 damage there. There's a one shot 
um, medium dank below. But I'm thinking about just going in and getting this kill up right now because I want to try and get rid of the one-shot tanks, especially a clipper like that because it can just if it it gets left to its under the devices, it can sneak up on you and just put a clip in. Um, and obviously, I don't have a turret, so I need to try and get rid of tanks like that. Thankfully, we do. We haven't picked up any. Um, we've kept all of our hit points so far. It's really helpful. We get a nice shot again into that tank destroyer, and that puts him onto a one shot to us, putting us onto about 3,400 damage. Still a very, very close game. You can see here how I'm using a small mini map because that's because I want to know exactly where the tanks are coming from right now. The big map, I know where the rest of the tanks are. I need to know if the tanks are, you know, the small movement of the tanks so I can try it and spring my turret and fight the right location. I'm just hopeful to see if we can put a shot, with, or at the end of one shot, TD gets um, spotted. So we do finish off that, putting us on to our second kill of the game. And that is very, very useful because it's kind of denied that angle from the enemy team. And I'm trying to sneak up and put a shot into the Borsig as our team are, are um, distracting him. Borsig actually does uh, fire. Unfortunately, that shot doesn't pen. It's a bit unfortunate. It just gets absorbed in its tracks. Uh, and we eat a shot off of the uh, enemy medium tank behind us, um, behind the Borsig. So we're now in a 9 versus 6. So we are starting to uh, win this game, but it is a very, very close game. Uh, I need to try and sneak round hopefully to see if we can get a shot into this Borsig. He is on a one shot and we're hopefully just going to try and finish him off here. We do picking up the uh, third kill of the game. But the artillery is trying to shoot us now. We're just trying to use, there's a big rock to our left. We're trying to stay in line with that to um, try and avoid getting shot by the artillery where we can. I was thinking about going in on, on that enemy heavy tank but yeah it's not going to work for us. It's full health. We need support and we've got the artillery which is a real problem. It keeps shooting at us. Thankfully we actually managed to get the kill on that um, enemy uh, death chariot there with the help of our friendly uh, eradicator which does a really good job. Putting this now into a 5 versus 4. 4,000 damage and 3 kills. Enemy vanguard gets put on a one shot. Vanguard obviously is a real nuisance tank so if we can take that tank out that'd be great. Looking to try and get a shot in. Well, I quickly pull back because I realise there is tank destroyers covering. I bounce a shot there, which could have been from the Iron Rain. There's an Iron Rain and a G Saw. Both tanks I'm going to struggle to spot. Both clippers, very, very dangerous in this situation. So I kind of need our medium tank maybe to push around and try and spot them, but he's going to struggle to spot an Iron Rain until he, you know, unless the Iron Rain fires or gets caught out in an awkward situation. So I'm thinking I might be able to try and sneak up and get a shot into the artillery piece. Yeah, maybe at this point I might be better to fall back, but I want to just try and get some more damage out of this game. The Iron Rain is what I'm scared of you know, the most because it clipped me out so quickly. But the G-Saw is, you know, is just as deadly. We get detected, it is from the Iron Rain. We put a shot in, we bounce a shot off the Iron Rain. Unfortunately, the artillery shoots us. The Iron Rain is now a one shot to us. He's now fired at least two shots, so I doubt he's going to push me. I'm going to look to try and get shots in this artillery, which is constantly firing my way. He gets put onto a one shot with a combination of my shot and the artillery. Vanguard is now looking to shoot me. Unfortunately, the artillery gets another shot into me, which now puts me on a one shot to all the tanks in the game. And that is far from ideal. I would love to have been able to eat a shot at this point. We do finish off the artillery. Now, I'm kind of in two minds. I know that Iron Rain's a one shot to us. But I'm also suspicious of that Vanguard maybe sneaking up and coming behind us. So I'm going to try and turn around because I just had a hunch that maybe that's what the Vanguard was uh, looking to do. Uh, and I don't want him to be able to sneak behind us and just get the easy kill. So we're going to try and pull back, but the Vanguard gets spotted on the right hand side, so clearly that's not what he's doing. And our friendly Mutz takes out the Vanguard, which is massive, which is going to be very, very helpful uh, to us. We're now in a 4 versus 2, but I think at this point I should fall back and get with my team. But our Mutz is moving in, and I'm thinking maybe he will spot the, um, the G-Saw. But the Iron Rain takes out the Mutts, and now this is where things get really awkward for me. 
Um, I know the iron range is a one shot, so I'm hoping I can try and sneak around and get a shot. But I think this is where I make a mistake. I think it, I should, in this replay, at this point, decided, you know what, I'm just going to fall back and let them come, come to us. Uh, because I get caught out here just at the wrong moment, just as the G saw was moving. Um, and we do manage to pick up a shot. But yeah, that brings us an end to our game. And unfortunately, spoiler alert, we don't manage to go on and get the win there. The enemy team do a good job of getting the win. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to skip to the scoreboard and we'll see the final result. Okay, so despite unfortunately not getting the win, we do have a good game. We get four kills, 6,000 damage and 700 assistance with 1,800 blocked. So yeah, it's a shame we couldn't get the win, but yeah, so that's it. Thank you so much for your support, and as always, happy tanking. Enemy